everyone, Larissa Ione here, and today we will be talking about pet medical insurance. Is it worth it? Let's find out. First off, I want to give a huge shout out to my Uncle Sherm, who has been waiting for this video for months. I actually shot it a while ago, but I wasn't happy with it, so I'm redoing it now. And oh, by the way, Happy New Year. I hope that everybody had a wonderful holiday and um, may 2021 be way better than 2020 was. All right, so why do we have pet health insurance? Well, I've never had health insurance for any of my pets and I've had a lot of pets over the year. I grew up on a farm and I'm an animal lover and uh, I've just always paid whatever I needed to, to help my animals. I am one of those people who believes that if you get an animal, you get it for life and you take care of it. And there is nothing I wouldn't do for the pets in my life, just like the people in my life. So we considered getting pet insurance when we got Hexa. Uh, she's a King Shepherd and German Shepherd goes into that breed. German Shepherds are notoriously prone to hip dysplasia and allergies. And so we considered it and we didn't. Do I regret it now? Yeah, a little bit. She's older now. She was relatively healthy in her younger years. She only had a couple of real problems that we took her to the vet for, for emergencies. Um, but now that she's 10 years old, she's starting to have you know, senior dog problems, joint problems and things that it would be nice to have insurance to help pay for. Uh, unfortunately, now it's a little late to get pet health insurance because like human medical insurance, pre-existing conditions can be an issue. So, well, we regret that a little bit. With Duvel, when we got him, other Malinois owners said, definitely get insurance for this breed. It's not that they have a lot of genetic problems, it's just that they are so active and so prone to accidents. They are hard on their joints and they just, they have no sense of self-preservation. So we went ahead and got insurance for Duvel. Well, so what happened uh, to make us use our insurance and was it worth it? Well, Duvel had a really bad accident over the summer and he almost died. I made a whole series of videos covering his accident and his recovery. So I will link to those at the end of this video if you're curious to know what happened. But uh, long story short, he jammed a stick down his throat and nearly died. He spent three days in the hospital and had a month long recovery that included a feeding tube, um, several vet visits, uh, some relapses. It was really traumatic for all of us. Um, as far as his vet bills, we actually thought they were going to be a lot more than they were. We just got really, really lucky that our our vet clinics, the vets were amazing. Uh, huge props to uh, the Northwoods Vet Clinic here in Black River Falls and the Madison Veterinary Specialists in Madison, Wisconsin. If you've ever been to a emergency vet clinic, you know that the prices are outrageous, but the Madison vets were just exceptional. So our vet bills came to $3,457. That does not include the prescription food. Um, our insurance policy did not cover that and prescription food can be really expensive. It was about $47 for 12 cans of prescription food and Duvel went through four cans a day. So that added up. But overall, that bills came to $3,457. What did insurance pay? Insurance paid for $2,357. So $1,100 out of our pocket, but that was also without, or that was after the $500 deductible. So if anything were to happen to Devel within this year long period where the Devel, where the 
deductible has already been paid for, they would pay 80% of his vet bills, including um, medications. So that was really awesome. Was it worth it? Absolutely. $1,100 out of pocket, <laughs> way better than $3,500 out of pocket. So is pet health insurance worth it for you? Um, I first, I think you really need to look at the breed, um, whether it's a dog or a cat or a horse or whatever. Um, just look at what they are known for health-wise. Uh, for example, dachshunds and corgis have a lot of spinal issues. Uh, German shepherds, hip dysplasia. A lot of large breeds are known for hip dysplasia. Do you have a stub-nosed dog breed? They can have respiratory issues. So take a look at your breed, first of all. Second, uh, what does your pet actually do? If you have just kind of a, a dog that's just kind of laying around the house a lot, it's, it's a slower breed, um, you know, you, you might not be as as willing to put out the money for insurance as a sporting breed that you take hunting that could get itself into a lot of trouble in the woods um, or an active athletic breed like the Belgian Malinois that is super energetic and just is willing to run through obstacles rather than go around them. Duvel has hurt himself a million times, small injuries that we can take care of ourselves, but we live in the woods. It's possible that one day he will be running and jab a stick in his eye. He's come close so many times. He's ripped off toenails. He has scraped himself. He is just a disaster waiting to happen. Another thing to consider is how much you are willing to spend on your pet in the first place. If you are willing to pay $3,000, $4,000, $6,000, whatever, then you know what? Insurance might be worth it. Uh, for example, Duvel's insurance is $26 a month. That's $312 a year or $3,120 over 10 years. Insurance has already paid for that $3,100. So he's paid for for the next 10 years. He, that it was paid for in one incident. So what are you doing back there? Yeah, you're a goof. Who's a goofy boy? So consider that. It's really not that much when you consider the long run. Um, I, 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 I don't know. <laughs> come here, buddy. Come here. Come say hi. Come say hi. Come on. Come on. Come say hi. Come say hi. Come on. Come on. Yeah, there you go. Yeah. See how great he is doing. Um, if you're wondering, he really is. He's doing, he's doing great. Um, he does have a few issues left over from his injury. Um, feeding him needs to be done carefully. We have to elevate his bowls. He will choke. Um, we're not sure if it's due to scar tissue in his throat or, or not, but he's doing great. And again, I am so glad that we got the insurance for him. It has been absolutely well, worth it. Now, insurance companies. There are so many to choose from. You just need to do your homework. Do I, rec <laughs> do I recommend the one we have, which is FIGO? Yes, I do. They have been wonderful. The customer service is amazing. They have gotten back to me within minutes, um, at the most hours, never more than a day, anytime I have uh, contacted them. They are wonderful. Um, it's working for us now. Would I go with them again for another pet? I don't know, I do the research. Uh, some companies pay for pre-existing conditions. Um, at the time I researched FIGO, they didn't. So it wasn't worth getting it for Hexa. She was older at the time. Um, Duvel was still young and had no pre-existing conditions. Um, 
you're gonna want to check to see if the coverage is only for catastrophic injury or if they will cover routine vet exams and routine medications like heartworm prevention or flea and tick prevention. Uh, those are all you know, considerations. They're going to cost you more if you want to cover the routine things uh, rather than just cat catastrophic uh, accidents. So take a look at your breed, take a look at your activity level, um, and take a look at how much you are willing to spend on your pet. And uh, that'll give you a good starting point. And there are a lot of insurance companies out there to check, uh, to look into. So uh, anyway, I guess that's all I have for today. I hope this was instructional and helpful. And um, if you liked it, please give me a thumbs up and be sure to subscribe and um, uh, watch for new videos. I am going to be shifting my focus from Duvel to some new exciting things. We're gonna be doing a lot of traveling coming up. We bought an RV and we're going to have a specific focus on some literary, <laughs> literary destinations. And I plan to meet up with some readers. I will be letting you know where we will be. And um, assuming that coronavirus uh, goes away soon, <laughs> fingers crossed, we will be doing some international travel as well. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed this. Take care and um, give all your pets a big hug for me, okay? All right, bye. Come on.